And finally, ranking first in the class of 2013, it is my honor to introduce to you our valedictorian, Mr. Daniel Okanevich. <laughs> that he is, without a doubt, the toughest kid in the class of 2013. In fact, he may be one of the toughest people. He may be one of the toughest people I've ever met. Because I do not know many freshmen who are tough enough to sport a jacket that says, Edison is stupid, and Tesla is awesome, ACDC. <laughs> See? Seriously though, I was always impressed by the level of conviction that this jacket represented. Clearly Dan had weighed all the evidence and came to the conclusion that not only was Tesla a wizard of the highest degree, but the Thomas Edison was a complete and utter idiot. And this jacket dared anyone to claim otherwise. All of these stories show me that Dan has all the attributes to be successful in the field of science. Engineering and science are often perceived as a very cut and dry, by the books field of study. However, excuse me, however, to be able to tackle difficult problems, to conceive of solutions that no one has ever thought of before, or to create things that no one has ever dreamed of before, you must not only possess a keen intellect and a large dose of tenacity, but you must also be creative enough to think outside the box and be brave enough to stand up for what you believe in. Dan Okanevich has all of these in spades and will ultimately be successful in anything that he sets his mind to. It is with great pleasure and pride that I now introduce you, Mr. Dan Okanevich. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, there are a lot of things that I want to talk about, but as we all know, time is precious. For 18 long years, although they certainly seem very short now, don't they? But for 18 long years, we've been on our quest for knowledge, meaning, and understanding. We've been bombarded with books, muddled by mathematics, shaken by Shakespeare, and scored by our schooling. But, we have only been tickled by tests. <laughs> what we've been through is only the beginning of the quest. The rest is for us to be the best, lest we fail that test. <laughs> As the journey is beginning, we also have only begun to fight. We need not journey to the center of the earth, but we must embark on an equally arduous task, finding our places in life. Indeed, it will be more difficult for some than others, and it will be confusing for most. For even those who have it all figured out cannot foretell the future. Uncertainty is a keystone in life, without which it certainly cannot be called life. Inspiration, that is the key. He who knows that he knows nothing is the wisest of them all. Consider this. Apollo 13 was a manned moon mission that went horribly wrong. The astronauts were on a very strict time limit, one of life and death. So a lot of systems went wrong, everything was just... <laughs> and they were running out of air. So NASA, the NASA scientists had to do something incredible. 
They had to solve one of humanity's oldest and most difficult riddles. They had to fit a square box into a round hole. NASA saved those astronauts' lives by jury rigging and fitting something in where it wasn't conceivably supposed to be. Now, if a square can fit into a circle, then why cannot people find their purpose in life? If I can take a seemingly unrelated incident and tie it into my motivational speech, then why cannot we fit wherever we desire? I'm asking rhetorical questions because I have the answer. <laughs> we can become anything. How do I know that? Well, we fit this into this. We know our potential, but we are afraid. Fear is the grand diffuser of motivation. Fear of the future. Fear of change. Fear of the unknown and the unknowable. Fear of failure. We come to have people rely on us. We come to rely on others. There are great expectations which we fear that we cannot live up to. We have here a portal, a pathway for our box to travel through. The box contains our goals, our motivations, our inspirations, our essence. We want to move our box towards our destination, but we must go through the portal. If we are afraid of failure, then the portal will be round. And of course our box is square. And, you know, we're not NASA scientists. <laughs> this is the result of expectations reacting with fear. Oh no! <laughs> pressure is the result. And as a result of pressure, we have catastrophe. Thus, we cannot succumb to fear of failure or else we will fail. And if, what if we fail anyway? What if after all of our hard work and our dedication, our perseverance, our perspiration, after all that, we still don't succeed? Then our courage to try may inspire others to try. And even if they should fail, then their courage will inspire others. And even if those people should fail, they may find others willing to take up the challenge. The NASA scientists at Houston were able to fit the square box into the round hole by circumventing the shape difference, by adapting the box, and thus they were able to move through the portal of fear. They had the expectations of millions of people on their shoulders to bring the astronauts home, and if they had failed, the astronauts would have surely died. There were serious repercussions if they had failed, but they did not fear the failure, because to do so would be the equivalent of failing. They recognized the consequences and used that to propel their thinking to a higher level, to become enlightened, to become one. They worked together to solve a problem. And we, we are never alone in our efforts. We have help from those that are close to us. We have help from those that don't even know our names. And we have help from those who don't even care about us. They don't know our names. The person who created this podium, this microphone, those people are aiding me as we speak, and yet they don't know who I am. I have no idea who they are. But we are connected by the products of their hard work. They all provide doors for us to go through, opportunities for us to achieve, opportunities to find our places in life. These are just doors, though. Some of them are locked, only to be opened when the right challenge is overcome, or when the right person is met. Come on now, doors are very important. We wouldn't be able to get out of here without them. <laughs> we wouldn't have gotten in here without them. I wouldn't have been able to get out of my car, or into it for that matter. I wouldn't even be here without a door. <laughs> Quick, how many doors did you go through today? At least two, maybe three. Or is pushing it. <laughs> so we're going to do three things. We're going to find out where we are needed in life. Then we have the courage to face failure. And then we will preserve all of our doors and keep them open. 
Because all doors are just walls until you open them. Autographed by me, who wants it? <laughs>